Hi, everyone. Welcome to BoatingTechTalk.com. Uh, we've got a simple question, but a great one from Rob. Uh, Rob asks, Jeff, what is a boost controller for solar panels? Love it. Geeking out, being curious. Beautiful thing. So the reality um, is that whatever the sun's doing, whatever your engine is doing, whatever anything is doing, you're connected to shore power, right? The source of power is not necessarily what the destination wants, right? So think about solar. You're connected to, for example, and, and this is relevant, so bear with me, with solar, right? The sun might be shining, your batteries are completely popped off. They were connected, they're connected to battery charging. Why do you have a control? Well, solar arrays come in all different voltages. It doesn't matter. It could be a voltage array that's eight volts or it could be a voltage array that's 20 volts. And it doesn't matter if it was a 12 volt array or even a 14 volt array. At the end of the day, there's no array that's giving what your batteries need at that given moment, right? Because your battery needs are constantly changing, right? Sometimes they want to be charged, sometimes they don't. Sometimes they're full, sometimes they're partially full. But the sun's shining every day, hopefully, right? Or often enough. And maybe your batteries don't want any power. So the first thing to realize is that we all need controllers to either step down, right, which is buck, or to boost, which is to step up, right? So either you step up a voltage or you step down a voltage. But at the end of the day, the controllers are, even if it was a 12 volt panel, 14, 14, 4, your battery might want 13, 3, maybe it's floating. Maybe your panel is 12 volts, but you can't charge something with 12 volts. That's not enough, right? The battery needs at least 13.1, 13.2 to float charge. So regardless what your panel voltage is outputting, it might not need, might not be what the battery wants. And so you've got two choices of control, right? You've got a controller that's either going to bring the battery voltage down, and we call those buck controllers. And often the name is completely omitted because most of the solar arrays are above. The, the voltage of the battery bank. And so effectively, you will always bring the voltage down and just assume. So it's rarely said, it's implied, right? And that was one of the confusing part, parts that I learned at the beginning. I was like, well, why is there boost and not, what's the other term then? What's the opposite? So the opposite is step, step up or step down. So step up is boost. And a boost controller is used when you connect a solar panel or a solar array where the voltage is below your battery voltage. And so then the controller is it going to be able to boost that voltage to be a charging voltage that your batteries need. So that's a great question from Rob. It took me a while to figure that one out. It wasn't that obvious when I started looking to all of this a few years ago from now. So thanks for asking, Rob. And thanks for everyone for watching. Appreciate it. If you're curious, we've written whole articles about this. Go on our website, search it out. Uh, and we've got a lot of other uh, tech talks about this very topic. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do. Um, it actually, it really does make a difference. It encourages us to keep posting. So if you're watching this video and haven't had a chance to subscribe, we really do care because the more of you that are watching, the more <laughs> of us over here are willing to put, spend more time in creating content. So thanks again.